President Akufuadu has directed the Ministry of Education and the Ministry responsible for science and technology to draw programs capable of improving the study of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM, right from the basic level. He said the government intends to enroll more science students and encourage more people into technical education. The president was speaking at the 20th convocation and graduation of the All Nations University at Kufuria. The University of All Nations at Kufuria in the Eastern Region has become a force to reckon with since Ghana successfully launched its first satellite into space in July this year. Students of this university developed the satellite which was sent into orbit from the International Space Station. It was the culmination of a two-year project which cost $500,000. The satellite will be used to monitor Ghana's coastline for mapping purposes and to build capacity in space science and technology. The 20th convocation and graduation was used to emphasize the importance of science and technology, vocational and technical education in the country. The president of the university, Reverend Dr. Samuel Donko, encouraged the government to formulate policies that can improve higher education in the country. Ghana's mission is to collaborate with government an industry to design and build GANASAT 2, which is intended to address issues such as monitoring of our coastal waters, oil spillage, illegal mining, and other issues facing the Ghanaian economy. The guest speaker, Nana Dr. S.K. Biasanti, said, by creating a successful satellite, the All Nations University has proved that Africa is now technologically advanced. President Ekufuado said, government is committed to encouraging more Ghanaian students to study science and technology since such subjects have become critical to society's advancement. President Ekufuado commended the university and also three of its students, Benjamin Bonus, Joseph Kwanza and Ernest Marty, for making Ghana proud. The said students developed a satellite that successfully went into space. I've also promised to increase funding for research and development, R&D. In the short to medium term, 1% of GDP will be devoted to that. He said, eventually, this will be raised to 2.5% of GDP in the long term. R&D funds will be made available for all research activities in both public and private educational and research institutions. It will take time, but I'm convinced that eventually Ghana will reap the expected benefits of the policies that have been put in place to transform education. In all, 617 students graduated with 53 of them obtaining first class, 196 had second class upper, 223 also had second class lower, and 110 obtained third class, while 26 had an ordinary pass.